Some YouTubers have suggested that many of us are just smitten by Barack Obama's charms. That we are naive, making this critically important decision on an emotionally charged whim. In defense, let me cut straight to the issues. The United States spent three trillion on health care last year and we are still the sickest, fattest nation on the planet. Before we talk about health care, we need to promote health. We need a president who is healthy, that will model health, talk frankly about our cultural eating disorder, and sit down with big agriculture and the food industry and empower them to work with us as we seek to clean up our act. We must address our cultural eating disorder. Senator Obama's health care plan calls for government-funded public service announcements, educating the population about healthy lifestyle choices, and offering support. The Clinton Foundation is bragging that they sent the biggest shipment of genetically modified seeds and fertilizers to Africa ever. Those are the same chemically dense products and the same good old boys that destroyed our soil and our food supply for profit. John McClain, John McCain will not make a great billboard for health because he's not healthy. Barack Obama is young, svelte, and healthy, and has the best prognosis for health over the next decade of the three viable candidates. When it comes to health, I choose Barack Obama. As for who is best qualified to be Commander-in-Chief, Senator Obama correctly analyzed the intelligence five years ago and voted against the war in Iraq. Senator McCain and Senator Clinton did not. When the phone rings at 3 a.m., I want the person most dedicated to peace to answer it. And finally, the economy. All the major economic issues facing this country are over my head, but I know this. Barack Obama raised more money through a grassroots campaign than anyone dreamed possible. Senator Clinton's campaign is in financial trouble, and John McCain runs with the super rich. When it comes to my economic future, I trust Barack Obama and his team to put their brilliant marketing muscle to work to pull our economy out of the ditch. So it isn't just Barack Obama's message of hope and change, his eloquence, his loving demeanor, like when he shouted I love you back at a supporter in Portland, Oregon, or his ability to inspire. For me, it is about who is best suited to lead us into health, wealth, and peace. I am certain it is Barack Obama.